Um, defensively, uh, a shift was put in by the players um, and was pretty effective on the defensive side of things. But on transition, so many giveaways, so many loose passes, and that first pass is so important. Um, wrong, wrong decision making. So we never really got to grips with that side of things on transition. Um, or, or dealing with the ball, to be honest, the, the idea of being brave with the ball, I don't think it was there today. It has been more, 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 more or less this season, but not so much today. But I must say, I, you know, that's a very good side, I thought, you know, and, and some said they haven't started that well. Well, they, they look like a decent outfit to me, you know, an outfit that went second last year and spent a couple of hundred million quid. So they're a pretty good outfit, that's for sure. And it's not just in with the ball. You know, I always mentioned about Man City, of course, they're technically bright with the ball, but they work very hard and they anticipate the game very well uh, on transition and, and without the ball. And I thought there were signs out from them today, without a doubt. Those issues that you highlighted there, how much are you willing to kind of put that down to what you just mentioned, the fact this is against a very good Arsenal side? Or are you more concerned longer term just around what... what no, no, our growth is still, you know, where we are. You know, there's a reality. I spoke very clearly at the end of last season. You know, nothing was solved. I said there's, there's massive work to be done. Um, I must say I thought we'd have more points on the board by now because of the performance levels we've shown but the league doesn't lie so therefore that's that um, against these it is a tough ask and I thought like I say they, they, they played well um, but our side of things you know I'm frustrated because you can't you can't give the ball away that many times you break the play up from your shape and your work ethic the number of times we gave the ball away or made um, poor decisions and then of course having the, the energy and the mental energy that when you do work in transition you're then active, you know, not just everyone waiting for the chance to break or the chance to build, then everyone's active. And I think that, that kind of link on transition was missing. And I think in the end, we didn't, we didn't, we weren't effective enough um, to ask many, many questions of Arsenal. I mean, it's three consecutive home defeats, but go to Brentford away next week and then there's a double header against Luton and Bournemouth, which presents an opportunity for everything. What, yeah. What do you think needs to change to kind of, to, to turn the performances that underlie some of the, so the details, you know, that they score what would be deemed a good finish day which, from their love, which it was, but the details, you know, tuning in, anticipating the game. Arsenal did it much better than us in that possession today. You know, that the, the details of football are not always as clearly obvious on the eye. You know, you, you, I can see it, but, you know, the, the, the transition of football, uh, people reading situations um, and people delivering the details, it, it just is so big that it's, it sounds easy when I throw that word out there, but... When, you, when you've been in the game as long as I have, you, you understand it more clearly. And I think our players, it's, we're still trying to get them to understand how important everything that happens in a game is. Not just some things, not just a good day or a bad day. What about every single detail of the game? And I think, you know, we, 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 haven't, we haven't put that learning onto the pitch yet so far this season because of the obvious reason. We've, we've been conceding softish goals from our point of view, made so many chances and not, not finding the clinical moment in the opposite box. And that's because of the details. They're, that's how important they are. Can we just ask what the thought process was behind Mikhail from the left? Yeah, just balance, um, trying to find that balance. I think Miko had um, two solid performances while he's been away. I've been waiting for him to get fit. I thought he played well today. He stayed at it. I um, thought Jared was good again today. That's pleasing. You know, young centre-half earning his spurs. Um, there were some pleasing aspects to the, to the game, but just against Arsenal, I'm not just going to brush that away. We still, we still, you know, we want to do better for ourselves with possession. We want to build from the back better. Um, there wasn't any clear signs of that. And we've got to, and then if we're not playing that well because they're pressing you, then you've got to, you've got to play well in different ways and be effective in other ways. You know, I mean, I don't want to cry in too much. I, I, I can't work out if we don't get a penalty uh, for Duke for the simple reason that second half, Beto pushes it past centre half and it gets booked. Mm -hmm. It's a very similar kind of challenge to me. Um, but then again, I, 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 I think we all lose well, not uh, lose clarity, I would suggest, on what penalties are, what penalties are not. Four minutes at the end, two weeks ago, they almost can't wait for a goal by adding you know, more minutes onto the eight minutes. Yesterday, I think it was 17 minutes of Villa. Who knows? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't know some of these things. I know it'll take a while to iron out. Um, who knows? But, we, you know, you do need some of them things to work for you, not against you, that's for sure. Thank you. The expectation for this season has has been that there's more time and get added time in games and like you say United and Brighton um, you brought on Schmitty and Garner obviously trying to do something in two of the ones. did you half hope that they would have that extra time yeah I mean by then you know you, you're searching for something you're searching for a moment but it does happen as we know um Four minutes. I was, I was, I was very surprised. Let's put it that way. And I think everyone in the stadium was very surprised after what we've been told in the directive of the new season. 
after what I'm seeing with my eyes, after what the feeling of other games has been, other games we've played in, let alone all the numbers that I keep seeing across football. And then four goals, I mean, it's almost, well, currently it's almost extraordinary, I think. Whereas last season, that would be pretty standard. Whereas now they've been told virtually everything is going to be stopped. Well, it didn't look like everything was stopped, you know, today to me and added on. But anyways, that, that, that's, I'm not crying that in, though. Arsenal are a very good side. They played very well today and we didn't do enough to win. Just on Arsenal's goal, obviously came from a short corner. That was a bit of a, a theme today. Did, did they perhaps catch you off guard, not expecting? No, we dealt with all the other ones very well. Um, we just didn't tune into the moment. We, we Obviously, we analyse uh, set pieces, so we know what they're going to do. Um, our record's very strong. Um, it has been for and against over the time I've been here, and it has been over my career. So I'm not too worried about that. But, but you put the players in a situation, they've got to read the situation, and I just don't think we did. And they, they capitalised with a very good finish. I think Sky said it took them 26 seconds to, to take the corner, um, and we were talking about added on time. Don't even, don't even. I, I can't work it out, honestly. Uh, I don't know how long the goal kits take. I don't know how long the corners. I, I really don't know. Uh, f- football is in a, is it, it's a very good place. It's in a very good place in many ways, but in some ways, I think we all scratch our heads. They keep messing around with all sorts of different things, and sometimes better left alone. But anyway, we're going to have to keep working with it. Um, I'm surprised by today. I'm surprised by the performance of the officials, actually. Um, but anyways, uh, these new directors come in and it takes time for them to work, I imagine. But today, it just felt like same old, same old to me. Yeah, Will, can you just pass the mic? <coughs> Excuse me. Sean, obviously, no goals in three home games so far. Some of your supporters will rightly be getting frustrated by that. So how do you go turning around? I don't think, um, you know, I haven't got the whole history of them, but I think the last few seasons they've not been scoring a lot of goals. So you're changing a mindset, you're changing the, 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 the belief system, you're changing the players to try and be effective. The hardest thing for any managers, coaches and players is finding that key moment. That's why the people who do find them key moments move for astronomical figures. So, you know, that's the, the belief that I have in the players has got to be transmitted into their moment of truth. You know, when the, when the ball lands, when you create chances... I think you all know I'm not going to bore you with it. The XG's off the scale this season. I think we're in the top four of the, of the Premier League. Now, that, not that that's an exact thing, as we know, but it's a, it's a guideline. Uh, not so much today, but you're playing a top side, obviously. So, I mean, that side of things is, is the moment of truth when that comes. Freeing yourself up to go and take them, them moments, you know, and make them, make them part of what we do um, and changing the noise, if you like. So that's another, another part of this. We're trying to change the noise of a couple of seasons on many, many different things. I spoke clearly about it last season. I spoke clearly at the end of the season. I'm speaking clearly about it now. It's our responsibility to change the story. It's our responsibility to change the rhetoric and all these stats and facts. That's the way it goes. That's football. It's our responsibility to change it. Any further questions? No? Okay. Thank you. Cheers.